What's up? This is the uh, Eric and Carson show uh, here on FlintTalkRadio.com. And uh, yeah, so we were just talking about how we just got into uh, Gears of War 2 and uh, you're at the Queen. I'm fixing it. I'm pretty sure I'm fixing to beat it. And oh, okay. I, it was hard to turn it off to come here, to be honest. Yeah, I actually had to turn it off about a half hour, a half hour to go. <sighs> I was kind of pissed. Yeah, I, I probably would. If I didn't have this silly podcast to do, I'd probably be already finished with this motherfucker. Yeah, because we got to the Queen and had the big dialogue with the Queen. And I haven't had the dialogue with the Queen, you cocksucker oh really you son of a you're just ruining it for me oh well I, I won't tell you what the queen says but there's dialogue with the queen that that's mm. interesting well, well, yeah, just you don't wonder. tell anybody that the, the, the wife that Dom's looking for Maria is actually dead. Oh, yeah, that bitch is dead. Yeah, Wait, that, well, that, that's because Dom blows her head off. Well, he blows her head off because because she doesn't want to live that life. Yeah. By the way, I'm just I'm just now noticing my breath. I got a problem with it. <sighs> Oof, mm, I got bad. lasagna breath. So I oh, had lasagna. Yeah. When did you have lasagna? Just now? Just about 20 minutes ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I was eating hot dogs. Mm. I should, that's where my income's at. I, I, I had Chicago-style hot dogs. I ain't bad, though. I like Yeah, hot dogs are good every once in a while. But see, like I like them Chicago-style. How do you like them? I don't know what Chicago-style is. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. What the hell is Chicago style? All right. Do, do you know what Chicago style is? Okay. Okay. It's what is uh, it with a pickle on it. Yeah, well, you put a pickle on it. Yes. It's a uh, you go with a sesame seed bun. Oh. Okay. First of all. All right. Then you go with uh, mustard. And apparently, if you ask for ketchup, and I and my girlfriend found this out in Chicago, do not ask for ketchup in Chicago. It's apparently some kind of a uh, some kind of an insult. Really? Yes, it is. So you go you go with uh, mustard. <laughs> you go with uh, the pickle spear. Yep. Tomatoes, tomatoes, onions, relish, and celery salt. Really? It's the celery salt that I really like. Yeah, I was going to say celery salt might add a uh, dimension of goodness to it's it. It's fucking fantastic. Is I'll what try it is. that. I'll try that. Yeah, I, I definitely want to get. I know you uh, said you found a recipe the other day. Ah, that I desperately want to get from you, and I want to know how you found it. We're talking about uh, this great drink that we used to get uh, down. We did uh, the tailgate reports for the syrup for the lions. Mm -hmm. uh, we met these guys down there, actually from Flint, and they brought us this stuff called apple pie. Yeah, and we were obsessed with trying to get some, but we never actually could hook up with them and buy some more apple pie. We were buying it off these these yeah, these, it was like these dudes. Ten bucks for a, like a Jack Daniel's fifth, yeah. full of it. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. Good though, man. What is so fucked up? What it is is uh, it's it's really it's really easy to make. What is it? Well, you gotta first of all have a really big pot, right? All right. Uh, and what you do is you take. Here's what I did. I did a half gallon of uh, cider. Yeah. Half gallon of apple juice. Okay. Two cups of sugar. Uh huh. Uh, and four cinnamon sticks. Four. Yeah, and okay. then you boil it, and then as soon and then when you're done boiling it, you pour a half a pint of uh. I have a quart Everclear. of Everclear into it, and then that's what I did. And and you cannot taste the Everclear; it's fantastic. No, that was always the best thing about it. But I mean, you drink two or three glasses, and you're just like, Bruh! I, I. It was really funny. I, I actually uh, I gave it to my girlfriend last night, and she was. Uh, I didn't tell. I just told her that it was just like some kind of a drink that my mom used to make. Oh, nice. <laughs> she finished it. She's like, "Why am I wasted?" <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and get fucked up watching the Lions game in the race, like so every cute. Sunday. It's 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 really good. It, it really is tasty. I like it. Uh, so where'd you find the recipe? Or you just I found it on the internet actually. Really? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it was pretty cool. Oh, there we go. See, my girlfriend just sent me a t uh, uh, an email back. <laughs> well, because I because I she was uh it was funny because um I was because she always hates it whenever I leave without saying goodbye. Right. Which I just did because she was because the girl sleeps more than my cat. Okay. I mean she's just always I mean it's all I I, I think she's on some kind of uh, you know some kind of drug that I'm not aware of because she's a bartender but uh, her getting out late means ten you know really? I, yeah so it's 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 not a real bartender uh but she uh so like I said so actually instead of instead of uh uh you know um. Instead of actually, you know, like saying goodbye, I just took this picture of her and emailed it to her. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. The sleepers yeah, sleeping with pumpkin. Yeah, he's got the yeah the cat's just kind of curled up near her face. Nice. Which means that she's probably breathed in a lot of cat fur by now. Oh yeah. Because he because he's basically just like a he's like a fucking dust ruffle. You just smack him and everything goes everywhere. Uh, uh, so what's going on with you? What have you been up to? Shit, man. Just play gears mainly. I've been pretty boring week actually. That's pretty much been the whole life is playing gears this week and uh tonight i'm going out to jester's of course mm -hmm. uh george george knows jester's his birthday tonight yeah so i'm going out there tend to tend to close doing a little little talking on the mic thing which i got to talk to you about uh and figure out what the hell that entails yeah yeah 
Well, you just talking to a mic. Well, how long? How often? You, do you have fucking to, done this professionally? For I know. I know. But party. is there like? Do you have to do it like every fifteen minutes every hour, or is it just? Like, <laughs> like, I don't know. Is there like how often do you have how to be on the fucking radio, f- dude? Are you? God I, damn no, it! I'm just wondering, like, how often do you have to be on the mic? Like, uh, do you have friends come chill with you while you're there? Like, are you just there by yourself, wandering around? Like, what's the deal? Um. The friends that you bring up there need to understand that, that you, you got to work. That you got to work, right? Uh, but you know, I wouldn't even call it work because you don't get any, you don't get any money for it, right? Well, uh, you know, it basically <laughs> you're, you're just basically looking to, you know, just to get it. But I'll talk to you about it off the air. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I, you know, because I was going to go into it, but you know what? No, no, I, no one, none of these people cares. fucking care. No, uh-uh, at all. Um, but uh, I don't know. Like, uh, so that's what you're going to be doing tonight. I, I'm actually up there. I'm going to do the mic thing uh, up there. Friday night? Uh, Friday night, so that'd be tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm kind of debating as to whether or not I'm going to come up to your thing today, because I, I, the only reason I do it is because it's, it's George. man. It's George. Well, you know. But it is George's birthday. I mean, I'm not like you, where I can't I, I can actually go out more than one night. No, but I'm I'm fucking like, out with Brian Beto on, uh, what was it, on uh, Wednesday night. And yeah, I'll say my I'll say your name on this shit, motherfucker. <laughs> I hung out with some guy last night. Well. Anyway, uh, no, I went... Um, Oh no, Brian! Uh, we went out to Kickers and we tore the fucking place down. Nice. It was uh, it, we got he hammered and uh, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I think I was like Tuesday. No, yeah, Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Yeah, cause I was talking to you last night. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't uh, get drunk last night. I haven't gotten drunk. I, I, like I, I've, I'm getting this new thing where I'm I'm putting some space in between getting wasted because I'm just getting tired of it. Right. Uh, so I just kind of like you know I don't really drink as much as I was before. Well, I didn't plan on getting hammered tonight. I think I'm going to be the the sober one driving us home. Don't. Really? Yes. Because you will get hammered. No. What? Just don't. Don't get hammered. No. No, that's why you got to be able to talk to people. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm not planning on it. Have them on. Oh, okay. come on. Yeah, I'm planning on. I'm what like, you, well, I'll be up there working. Come on. What do you drink? A barrel? Pool. I mean, Jesus Christ! I imagine it's fifty-five Fuck. gallon drum with a Did nipple you, on the yeah, end. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Nurse it because he wants to have some. He wants to have something to balance out the car. <laughs> 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 and so he puts a fifty-five gallon drum, and it doesn't actually scrape the side. I'm sure he can. Yeah. All those drugs? Of course he can. <laughs> they, so they kind of, they kind of all, all slosh around together and, and melt in. You know, uh, you know, the the thing about this podcast that we've never really done, Carson, is we've never really formed any uh, any level of continuity. No, uh-uh. no, um, you don't know what that means, though, do you? Uh, actually, doing a show consistently and well, we don't ever wrap up our storylines. No, oh, so God. pun. How uh, so? Oh, what, what about this uh, the female situation? Now, did you uh, now? Is there? Uh, was there a problem from you talking about this on uh, on no, Tuesday? No, because she watched it. Oh, she did watch it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, we talked to her about it yesterday. Really? Okay. Well, let's let's. Well, what happened? Over here, you can answer the question. Uh, he's, 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 don't he's, look at me. Carson, you know, Carson's not your fucking uh, Carson's not your fucking lawer. I'm uh, curious. Oh uh, yeah, go so ahead and answer that. that. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, uh, you're permitted. So red, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. No, I, I want to know what happened. Oh, uh, you can go ahead and answer that. <laughs> She just watched it. Okay, but what was her comment on it? Saying that she just watched it gives me fucking nothing. Because people don't watch something and then not have a comment on it. Especially if it's about them. You, you can go ahead and uh, tell her in comments. <laughs> Thank you, Carson. Like I appreciate it. What, 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 what happened? She just said she liked it and it was nice. And... Oh. Really? Oh, she liked the attention. She you know spo- she did. She's supposed to be well, coming out tonight. Really? To adjust her. She's supposed to be. Uh-huh. We'll see. Yeah, is 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 her uh, is her significant other coming with? Oh no, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, hmm. uh, well, so uh, apparently he's not the only one who's gonna be getting drunk tonight. <laughs> yeah, <Are you> kidding <laughs> me? <laughs> what do you mean you don't want a shot? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, no. Oh no, he just wants he just wants one so he can just get the roofie in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all he needs. Drag that's her out it. back by one oh, hand, by one hand. <laughs> sure, water's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Here, just drink just something. Drink something. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> She's. <laughs> she All right, we've been here ten minutes. She finished off that water. Got to go. Yeah, she, exactly. <laughs> she gonna be passing out here in a minute. So. Yeah, ex- absolutely. And if she, if I don't hurry up, then I'm not gonna get the electrical tape around her wrist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> only identify her in the trunk by the tears that she left behind. <laughs> <laughs> Damn DNA. <laughs> <laughs> No, so she's coming out. Okay, so she <laughs> he's looking at the at the phone. So um so was she, what was her comment about uh about you kind of talking about how how much you'd like to raw dog that bitch? Raw dog. Mm, we didn't even talk about that. You didn't Oh, you, that didn't come up at all? She didn't mention it? Oh, I doubt at that. At all? I doubt that. Mm. Oh, okay. Carson knows something. That's why he's poking at it. Should no, I, I honestly don't know honestly the conversation don't know. they had. What happened? 
What did she say? She didn't say anything at all? We didn't talk about it. It didn't even come up. She didn't even say, oh, my God, that, that, that Eric guy's a dick. No, she, the last said you, she said you guys were funny. And she okay, was listening. All right. Well, the last thing, last that. time I talked to her, seen her with him was, uh, was we were t- I was telling her where to find that. She, because he asked her, he's like, "Did you watch it?" And she's like, "No, I didn't get a chance to watch it." And I'm like, "Oh, you could go download it at PointTalkRadio.com." Oh, okay. Just threw, so threw me on. Oh the yeah, just, just threw it. Yeah, oh, okay. But I haven't, I haven't heard from her since. I know you talked to her since, it's, but I haven't heard anything about it since then. It's probably nothing she didn't already know. So. Oh, it's because you've already, you have made it pretty obvious that you wanted to fuck her. Mm. I make comments every now and then. Well, when he walks out of his, his truck with a fucking, his pants around his ankles and a ribbon around his cock, <laughs> and she and he says, look, I got you a present. Carson, I don't think he actually does that. <laughs> <laughs> Literal Larry. Uh, the, uh, the <laughs> no, but uh, I, I don't know. what you know. Uh, yeah, no, but uh, so, so like you have made it obvious to her that you want to fuck her. Is that, that, but now let me ask you a question. When, you, when you're doing that, and this is something I was thinking about later. Um, do you actually make it obvious that you want to fuck her, or do you kind of give her the impression that you want to have a relationship with her? Ah, ah, ah. good question. No, no, no. Listen here, Mr. Attorney. Good I don't need question. you. Get, I don't need you getting involved here. <laughs> That's what, a good question. What, which I, which of the two is it? When I you have the fifth on not, we're, you're not on trial here. There's no there's no cur- there's no cr- crime that you've committed. Mm-hmm. So wait, what, I'm. It's not like she. You're you're saying shit that she doesn't know that you're saying. I'm asking how you represent it. How do you represent it to her? Do you say like I want to fuck you, or do you say that I would like to pr- pursue a relationship with you? Which of those characterizations do you think? If if one, hey, right, listen. Right. If you get drunk enough tonight, can we fuck? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, all right. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, I, 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 how about we do it this way? And so that maybe maybe you'll feel more comfortable answering this question this way. Okay. Let's say that you've got two streets. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one of them is I want to fuck you Avenue. Okay. The other one is let's have a relationship. Relationship Boulevard, okay? Which street do you think you're more likely to drive down in those you conversations gonna, you, you have? You go with down her? the street or the boulevard? Which yeah, one you take it? Street or boulevard? Which there one? There it is. Actually, it was Avenue, but. <laughs> All right, what Avenue or boulevard, whatever. Uh-huh. What was the Avenue? The Avenue was I want to fuck you, and Boulevard is the I would pursue a relationship with you. Boulevard. Boulevard. Okay, he's nodding like he understands the question. Uh-huh. Now let's see if we can get him to answer the question. I want to fuck you, Avenue, or I want to pursue a relationship, Boulevard. Boulevard. Ah. But if the Avenue was, was available. I mean, now, now, okay, let's now let's now if you've seen her. You, be the same way. Saw. But if I send, if I. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> Ling, linger longer. You, the, you've worked with Carson how long? You know, <laughs> you English. Yeah. Uh, I, did, I used to do it to him on the air all the time. But uh, okay, the. Uh, all right, so now, okay, you do go down. I would pursue a relationship. <laughs> yes, she does go down. I yes. would pursue a relationship below. No, she goes down on the, on the, on the boyfriend of a long period of time uh, <laughs> parkway. <laughs> yes. Oh, my uh, God. Okay. The I'm trapped in a relationship uh, <laughs> highway. <laughs> this will be my last day here. <laughs> <laughs> or I, I need two fingers in my ass. <laughs> utility drive. <laughs> oh my God. This girl's going to hate me. No, 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 no. No, you're just being honest. I'm not asking. I really need an orgasm service road. <laughs> 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 I'm sick of the vibrator <laughs> throughway. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not that interested on ramp. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the chat room is, uh, you know, wondering why Pundus hasn't got up and walked out. <laughs> the, the, I'm glad you got yours because I sure didn't tunnel. Oh, man, uh, you guys done? Okay, you guys fun? I, I think uh, yes. so. Yeah. All right, that. but like now, when you're when you're driving down, I want to pursue a relationship boulevard. I when, c- when her boyfriend's out the way. I mean, well, you've already made that clear to her. I mean, so so you're just saying that you're the op- that that if in the event you're the pitch hitter. Yeah, you're the dick in the glass case. If I can borrow, if I can borrow something oh, yeah, from yeah, Chris I've Rock, told her, I've told her. Okay, so if in in the event of emergency, break glass. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's fine. That's understandable. Yeah, 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 and that's cool because you're kind of. It's almost like you're saying, uh, you know, you're 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 like the detour. You know, hey, listen, you know, if if fucking Dort Highway's blocked off, you can take Atherton and you can get around and you can get to where it is that you need to go. Exactly. I, that you can go. You can take Atherton to center and you're fine. Mm, that's yeah. and that's that's basically what you've done. And that's and I don't necessarily see 
Yeah, you because know, look, I mean, that's I don't necessarily see that as a betrayal of your other friend. I mean, let's fucking face it. If you do, if you're a dude and you're um, I don't know why am I talking like this? If you're a dude and you're dating a hot chick, you understand probably that there are other dudes that are just basically, you know, kind of going, hey. When he's done, I want to turn. I right, mean, that, right. That is obviously something that happens a lot. So I don't necessarily huh, think you should I want to like ride that giant. roller coaster. Exactly. You know, I mean, and like, hey, because let's face it, when you're a guy, there comes a time when you're done. Oh, God, And yeah. that's all, you know, that's, and that's why, you know, marriages never fail and never work out because usually right about the time you say I do, you're done. You yeah. don't really want to ride that, that, that bear anymore. But you do because you've kind of gotten all, a bunch of shit going on about it. So I don't think there's a single guy out there. How long has this dude been with this bitch? Oh, this chick. I'm sorry. I apologize to say that about your friend. Nine, ten years. But I didn't say cunt, so that's that's, that's good. That's good. That's uh, anyway, so but no, what is it? Nine, ten years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's he's, he's been done. He's been done. With. Been uh, done. He's he's had a kid with her. Two. Two two kids. That's what I said. Been done. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Two. Kids. And like high school sweethearts too. On top of that. Oh please. Yeah. Uh, dude, he's uh, he he wants alternatives so bad he may scrap the guys. I don't know. Are you kidding me? <laughs> just to cut, just to get as far away from that as possible. Oh, yeah. He's into he's into black one. He's into like really black porn. Oh like, god. <laughs> he's into cuckold dark shit, shit. Where it's just a fucking big black dick just tearing up a fucking white woman. <laughs> you know that that's all it is. Or big black chicken. dicks with pearly white cum. If that what was that? Clerks. <laughs> 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 you know that that's what, that's what that dude's into, and it's all about like you know the cuckold stuff, the prepping the bull kind of shit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> what? Done. <laughs> what? For some reason, John's laughing very hard at the cuckold humor. Yeah. I don't really What's know what's going on in the room. He's really yeah. well. No, I think he knows what I'm talking about. You guys clearly don't get that deep on the internet. No. <laughs> no. No. You guys, you guys get to get to like, ooh, there's some centerfolds. I'll scrap to that. No, <laughs> once you get past that, that that let's just say that after you get like two steps beyond anal licking, that's when you're into the cuckold area. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's when you've graduated. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm, I don't you don't know, know about cuckolding? I, Jesus Christ! I probably do. I probably do. What are you, are you fucking do? religious? What's I wrong probably, with you guys? I probably do. I just don't know the term for it. It's when um, it's 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 great. And it's actually an old, you know, uh, uh, medieval term. I don't, I don't, uh, what I don't, is it? I don't explain s- it. I just want to say first, I don't scrap to it, but I do find it hysterical. All right, what is it? Uh, it's uh, actually when uh, a husband is uh, offers his wife up to be fucked by a much bigger dicked man. Oh, really? And uh, it, please fuck my wife and shit. And now the really he knows those are now that's light cuckolding. Okay. The really bad ones are when the husband actually goes and gets the, the, the fucking guy hard by sucking his dick. That's when you're really into the fuck. And then she and then he goes and fucks the chick. That's when you're really seeing the bad cuckolding shit. I can shit. see why I've never seen that. Well, I did. It's, it's fucking internet. You fucking click. Girlfriend to death, but there's no way I'm sucking another man's dick to get it hard for her. <laughs> yeah. hard. There's Carson's no way. Not, Carson will not prep the ball. No. Hell no. No. <laughs> No. If it goes down to it and she needs to get some dick from somebody, fine. But I am not getting it ready for That is it. some fucked up shit. Like, I mean, like, obviously, you know, when you and I were on the radio, we saw a lot more, you oh, know. And, obviously, and because I was, you know, a little bit more, you know, clicking on with the instant message of the listeners, I was always getting a lot more fucking shit. Oh, like, God. They I was some far the most mo- horrible shit. Like, Carson couldn't really watch all the shit porn that I was always very into. Ugh. Like, like, pun, you saw the shit porn, right? Get the computer! Two girls in a cup and all that stuff. Cup girls and all that, yeah. No, you have. He hasn't seen it. He hasn't. You seen haven't two- seen it. He hasn't seen two girls oh, in a God. cup. God. Oh, why isn't this computer working yet? Mm. Oh, as well, soon as that, that'll be a show coming up. Oh, absolutely. It? It's then we go to Church of Fudge <laughs> without yes. a doubt. And oh then, God, Church of and then, Fudge. And then Mr. Hands. Have you seen Mr. Hands? Oh, it's terrific. It's a guy getting. Actually, I saw Jim Norton of all people actually talking about it. He actually does, he does a stand up comedy bit about Mr. Hands now. That does not surprise me. It's a uh, it's a uh, guy getting. It's it's a great it's a great you know grainy home video, uh, where it's two guys in a Seattle horse farm, and one of the guys uh, actually gets fucked to death by a horse. To death. Yeah, fucked to death by a horse. You can see his guts coming out as the cock, the horse cock comes out of well, his the worn cock, out ass. The horse, the horse like gets up and starts fucking him, and then like it just all of a sudden gets excited and really just punches it right through, and it actually gets right through his intestines because the horse apparently the horse is like, now this is one snug asshole, and bam, just knocks it right through. Oh yeah, oh, it's oh, yeah. fucking awesome. Oh yeah, you can almost see the guy's head move. Oh yeah, it's like <laughs> ah, you know, it's, it's terrific. <laughs> 
He gets fucked to death by a horse. Now imagine how th- that that's your headstone. What's, what's funny about that is they actually the guys with him took the guy to the hospital and dropped him off to the emergency room mob style and took off. Yeah, because he had a punctured colon. Yeah, and yeah. intest and, and lower intestine. Uh. Have you ever seen that, John? Oh, it's a terrific. Video. Oh, it's great. We we used to bring people. We used to bring people in the studio to show it to them all the time. That was actually the bit. Like my favorite was always like whenever there'd be uh, the the in the few times there was ever girl interns, we were always immediately jumping right on the ship. Oh yeah. yeah, and like we could never describe it because we were always just kind of like, you ever seen two girls in a cup? And that was as far as we could ever fucking take and it. And then you just hear, oh, oh, yeah, oh my god. Have you heard of? Have you heard, you have you seen you've seen I, two girls? I saw two girls with a cup. Okay, it was, it was like it was it was gross. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's two. Yeah. It, it's a girl. She shits in a cup. They start eating it, then they start puking the shit back out, out of the out of each other's mouths, back into the, each, each each other's mouths. So you have a lot of there's there's shit it's eating, horrible. shit eating, shit puking, and then because uh, actually at one point my favorite was the act of love where they're actually on either side of the shit cup like kissing it and like so it actually looks. Well, so, at one point they're making out with both shit coming out yeah. of their mouth while making out. Like you, nice. Like what's really fucking like, horrible. Everybody's seen the fucking you know uh, two two chicks and a dude uh, fucking porn where they're on either side of somebody's cock and sucking the dick. Well, they do that with a cup of shit, and that's the fucking greatest thing ever. And like, and I was always, and I was, and my favorite bit is always in the studios. I was always just going like, but it's an act of love. These people love each other. <laughs> that, and then there's the the church of fudge where you have the the the, the, the preacher, the preacher shitting into the nun's mouth. Yeah, that's very fun. There's well, no they love, love each in the other. world for that, huh? There's no love in the world for that. Oh, there absolutely is. God, yes. Okay, you and Megan try and let us know how it goes. Well, it was great. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you, I, I, I don't have to fucking go and do my homework. <laughs> it's already done. Does it surprise me? Consider this. Consider this. Eric. This report has already been filed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I like it when she eats a lot of corn yeah. first. <laughs> exactly. Corn and cheese. Now Numbers. She gets, now she only gets sour cream ready on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Or cream cheese. Uh, that's, that's, uh, no, I've never actually done that with her. <laughs> <laughs> or anybody, I would hope. <laughs> what? No, let's, let's go ahead and finish that. Hey, what are you going to do, man? I've never shit in a girl's mouth. Every <laughs> once in a while in the shower, what are you going to do? you got to have some fun. <laughs> What? Well, that's that, that's when everybody ever tries. Because obviously, you know, you've had uh, you've peed on a chick before, right? No. no. Well, how, how can you not? You guys are fucking religious. What's wrong with you? No. Even in the shower, just to fucking give it a whirl? Just to no. See what like? you know Why what would I, I want to piss on a girl? Because you want to fucking give it a try. I don't know. I just i have never. Uh, no. God, you really are pretty sexually repressed. Uh, I got to tell you, it's fantastic. <laughs> Look, well, if, I, if, I never really quite. I if, never quite if, got the if whole golden, golden shower showers thing. Are, is, if not doing a golden shower is sexually repressed, then yes, I am. It's too bad. And I am glad for yes, it. Yes, I'm very glad. Why? Because I would not want to be I, pissed on, nor would I, I ever want to piss on someone. See, that's the problem. You guys are too uptight. That's no, the I problem. just don't think that's like piss is not sexual. <laughs> I have come on many girls' faces, but I have never. It's coming out of the same fucking. I've hole. never pissed on him. Yeah, but uh, let me make some lemonade for you. It's the same fucking thing. It's coming out of the same fucking hole. Yeah, I just James says there's something wrong with Eric. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying I'll try fucking anything once. I don't really care. So you had a girl piss on you mm-hmm. on my leg. What it was on the shower. Yeah. She pissed on your leg. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? What's what's the problem with that? I do a little spice in the relationship. Do you fucking give it anything? Mm-hmm. Oil? I'll try anything once. I don't give a shit. Do you like it? it? No, nah, it was it was kind of. It, it, I didn't really. I couldn't tell the difference between the water that was coming down out of the spigot and and her. So it really didn't matter. Okay. Well, that's it was funny. basically just like anything else. I didn't really. Th- I didn't really think one way or another about it. I have pissed on my own feet. I heard it's good for athlete's foot, so I tried it one time. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. It is good for you. Ever, have you done yeah. that? Yeah. No. If you got bad athlete's feet, and they say pee on okay. your feet in the shower. Now, now, fucking pun. If you if you can't even piss on yourself, then you might as well go join the fucking uh, the priesthood. I'm, I'm not saying I couldn't piss on myself, but <laughs> I've been pretty drunk where I pissed right in my pants. <laughs> I know. I've known people that like. I've never uh, heard of pissing on your foot to cure athlete's yeah, foot. Athlete's foot. If you got mm-hmm. bad athlete's foot, they say piss on it. Yeah, you got ammonia in there. Yeah. So it kind of takes care of that. I didn't think it really helped me, so I never really did. No, I never did. Well, either. sometimes you just don't want to get out of the shower. <laughs> oh, well, that's different. That's, that's just, yeah, that's I try to aim for the drain at least, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Oh, you've done that. Yeah. All right, finally we found where puns uh, line is. <laughs> <laughs> Aiming Christ. for the drain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm just saying, pissing on your foot to clear some athlete's foot up. I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's weird. You got to lean over like an a, like a like a like a giraffe drinking out of the fucking. You river. really do. It's not. <laughs> it's like, right, <laughs> during, during World War II, the RAF was advised. The guys in the RAF yeah. was advised if they got done doing a you know a hooker to piss in their hand and wipe their uh, you know penis off with it, and that was supposed to be antiseptic. Apparently, I yeah. should have been doing that a long oh, time. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> can, can it just be a bar whore? Does yeah. it have to be a hooker? Yeah, exactly. Apparently, that's what I should have been doing. Maybe all this instead time. of coming, you should have just pissed on the side of her and, yeah. and cleaned it up. I've, I've, I don't know if I've ever told the story on the air. I don't think I did because I don't think we could have on the on the I air. The squirter it. chick, that, that fucking shit. Uh, I don't think you told it on the air. I had that once, dude. It was crazy. It was like, like uh, my my favorite was uh, because like I I fucked this one girl that was a really like big time squirter, and uh, I mean she squirted a lot. Like, like it was fucking way too much. Like to the point where it was like it would soak my entire lower half of my body. Like it was. Well, didn't you get to the point where you had to put down several blanket or several towels so it didn't ruin your mattress? I only fucked her once, and I, I thought you fucked her a couple times. No, no. no? Oh. Why would I? Not after that. <laughs> no, I. Uh, oh, maybe it was uh, another guy we used to work. Yeah, with. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, I know okay. It is. I won't. I won't yeah, no. I won't out Rob. No. But the uh, what happened is is I found it. Uh, I found it to be like kind of weird because like I mean when they squirt, dude, that's fucking. It hits you hard. I mean, it's <laughs> like some force behind. It. it is. It's like all of a sudden, fucking Bull Connor's got his hose out. <laughs> you feel like you're black in Alabama in the 60s. Exactly. It's like only warmer. <laughs> but uh, I fucking like, I, yeah, it, it, that happened. I mean, it was, I got squirted all over. And then like, and, and like, uh, you know, not to, you know, be a Mr. Fucking brag or whatever, but she was actually, she came several times. So she squirted several times all over me. So to the point where like my fucking entire bed, this is my old bed. I just want to point that out. But this is like, uh, I mean, it's just, it's completely covered. It was disgusting. But then like, like, you know, uh, it's uh, like I finally and every fucking time she squirted, I lost my nut I, every fucking yeah. time. Uh, like yeah. I, had, I had to I had to restart every single time that that happened. So like what was really funny was is that then by the, I finally get to the point where I'm going to come and I fucking pull out and I fucking put it on. I put it on her stomach and then all, you know, I basically want to <laughs> fill her belly button. <laughs> yeah. I felt like such a pussy. <laughs> she's like she's basically repainted my house and I can fuck and I get a couple of fucking drops on her stomach. Oh Yay me. Doop, doop. I feel so cool now. Pussy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> She's like, geese, geese, geese. And I'm like, all right, here, take it all. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a great stand-up. Man. I guess I could do that. Yeah, yeah, no, that, you, that. Need, you need to work that into your stand-up. I just, I just, that was all improv. That's actually, that did happen. That's a true story. I've though, heard that, that story before. Yeah, I know it's true. <laughs> I remember when it happened. Whoa. <laughs> and, you know, I always wanted to fuck a squirter until I heard that story, and then I was like, yeah, you know I what? Wouldn't. I don't want to fuck a squirter anymore. Well, like, actually, you what, ruined it for me. Let's be really honest. Here's, I wasn't well, I story. was gonna fuck her. The, Carson was sitting up at the bar, and then like she was supposed to go back to Carson's house, and fucking uh, apparently like she decided that she was gonna like I think it was when we were working at Rubes. It was no somebody had told her that I was a whore. <laughs> and she didn't want to go home with me because I was a whore. So she went home with Eric instead of fucked him that night. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. You, yeah. you wait a minute, you're, you're a whore. Yeah. <laughs> what you, why can't two whores get together? Yeah. <laughs> well, I you're know. a whore, but you only want to fuck people that ain't? I know she's all... And she's then she a, throws Eric. She's all, she's all judgmental about you. But yeah. then for some reason, well, immediately the exact same evening, go back home with me. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, all right. What, what, she's like, I'm, I'm not going to have sex with him. He's a whore. And I'm like... Well, fair enough, because at, th at that point, if you're going to get fucked, you're certainly not going to plead the case for your friend. Oh, God, no. <laughs> like, all right, Fuck well, no. I, I got nothing else going on tonight. I might yep, as well. Absolutely. Uh, break? Yeah, I'll take a break. Eric Thank Carson. God. <laughs> <laughs>